began her ballet studies. In the late 30s, she and her husband, also a dancer, Fernando, uh, relocated to New York to further develop their career. There, they began taking classes with the old world masters that were in the city. Um, they began uh, performing in musicals and working with Lincoln Christine's Ballet Caravan. In 1940, uh, they became founding members of Ballet Theater, and this is them performing with Ballet Theater in 46. Um, Alicia, in particular, uh, rose to international acclaim, and Fernando would go, he would have his performance career, but it ended earlier than, far, much earlier than Alicia's, and he would become a lauded teacher. Um, and this photo shoot was taken for Vogue magazine, Ballet Theater in the 40s. Um, I've indicated Alicia here. But to begin my story of the friendship between Anne and Alicia, I need to go back before this image um, to a photo taken, photo taking session uh, that took place in Chicago um, when Alicia was still with uh, Ballet Caravan, Lincoln Christine's Ballet Caravan. So, in the studio of um, Maurice Seymour in Chicago, uh, that's when Barzell first encountered Alicia. So she later wrote about this first encounter, and I'm quoting her words now. Quote, it was in the autumn of 1939. This was the start of the company's 1939-40 tour. And the dancers were brought to Chicago a few days before the opening of the Civic Theater to have photographs taken. Being friendly with Kirstein and Seymour, I was at the photo call. And there was Alicia Alonzo, a dark-eyed little girl in a fancy tutu dripping with lace, one leg high in that famous arabesque. This new girl fascinated me, and I watched her all through the photo session, admiring the life ease with which she fell into each pose." End quote. The next encounters came in 1940, when Alicia, now at Ballet Theater, was in town for a summer performance, and again a couple months later for a six-week run in Chicago. Three years later, in December 1943, at the Chicago Civic Opera House, Barzell watched as Alicia performed what would become one of her signature roles as Giselle. Barzell later described these handful of early encounters as the, quote, foundations of a deep interest and the base of understanding of the art of Alicia Alonso. Indeed, building on that foundation uh, was a warm friendship that flourished over, year, over the years through regular correspondence. In 1948, for instance, Fernando updated Anne on exciting developments uh, that year that were taking place in Havana. The ballet theater had to cancel its season um, because of financial reasons, the dancers were put on furlough, and the Alonsos decided to use that brief disappointment as an opportunity. With several of the other furloughed ballet theater dancers in tow, the Alonzos returned to Cuba to found the first professional ballet company on the island, Ballet Alicia Alonso. In a chatty letter just two weeks before this uh, premiere on October 28, 1948, Fernando went from professional updates to friendly inquiries, fond memories, and hopes for future encounters. He asked Anne about her photography and asserted, quote, I hope that very soon we will have the chance of having another movie night together, end quote. The letter was signed with love from Alicia and Fernando. In the following years, Barzell kept up with the Alonzo's activities in Havana. She became an honorary member of a civic association devoted to supporting the Ballet Alicia Alonso. It was made up mostly of ballet domains in Havana, but also included a few key U.S. friends and supporters, including Barzell and New York-based dance critic John Martin. 